Hi everybody, today I wanted to share with you several of the antique and thrifted pieces of furniture I have been collecting over the past several months for our little fixer upper cottage. It is not complete yet with every piece I need, but I thought it'd be a fun way to just kind of share with you what we found so far. So the first piece I found quite a while back was this antique dresser that we turned into a sink and I painted it a vintage green. We put the sink in it and installed that. And so that is going to be a really fun pop of color in our more neutral white themed cottage because it's such a small space, 450 square foot. So I thought this would be a fun way to incorporate antique as well as some color. And it was a $60 Facebook marketplace find. Um, the next thing I found was this wingback blue chair at an antique store for $25. Again, a little pop of color. That's how I'm gonna incorporate color into this little place is with furniture, not the walls. There'll be more pieces like that. So that was $25 at an antique store and I just love the details. Yes, it's a little worn looking, but that's a cottage for you, right? And then um, we found this gray couch and hide-a-bed. We knew we needed a hide-a-bed because of the spacing. So we'll have a queen bed, but then if someone has kids or there's four people, we knew we needed an extra space for sleeping. So this was a Facebook Marketplace find again. It was $200 and it's not um, antique or vintage, but I like the gray and the little detailing around the sides and I thought it would go well with anything else I found because that was probably actually the first piece of furniture I found for a little place over a year ago. Okay, then I found this coffee table and side table set for $15 on Marketplace. And I am working on distressing them, making them a lighter wood color because I just love that look from um, Pine and Prospect Home has a table similar to this. And I just think that will be such a great piece, those two pieces in the little space. And you can't pass up $15 for both of those. And then I found this little bench in an, at an antique store. Again, a little pop of color. It does have some darker wood just underneath our little coat rack or in a space like that to put shoes on and put a coat on and stuff like that. But um, I just thought that was really cute to have and I think it was $20 if I am thinking correctly on that. And then I did get this footstool from um, a company that I will put the link in the description box for you and um, it's gray and like a lighter wood. I'm not sure exactly if I'll use it in the fixture upper. It would be nice to have a little footstool to set around. So you can definitely check it out on Amazon if you would like, if you're interested in purchasing this footstool. But I just wanted to leave an honest review about it and that I don't know if I would honestly use it in my own home. But you know, for guests, someone might really like having a footstool. So there is that I got for free to um, share with you guys as well. So you can check that out if you're interested in this little footstool. And then I found this little bistro chair set. They were $40 for the set. And then this little white table, these are for outside. I'll spray paint the white table black, but I thought that'd be so cute and welcoming on our little um, area that has a cement pad for when people want to sit outside and have coffee in the morning or something like that. Another piece that I left out was this really antique table. The person I bought it from off of Facebook Marketplace said it was her great grandmother's. It's a drop leaf table. It is worn a little bit. It has like some blue tinting to it but I think that will be so adorable in this little space and won't take up a lot of room, which is what I need in a small space. I'm still gonna look for, I think, a chest to put blankets in at the end of the bed, as well as some chairs to sit at by the table. Um, there's just other pieces that I know I'll have to look for after we actually get everything else in there. Just for spacing wise, I can't find everything right now just so I can visualize it once it all comes together. But I hope you enjoyed watching this and um, yeah, that you'll be updated again hopefully soon on our Fixer Upper as well. If you're curious about the progress of it, I'll put the playlist of the Fixer Upper in the description box. It hasn't had a lot of progress yet as we've been working on outside projects lately. So anyways, hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day and I'll talk with you in the next one. Bye.